Hello everyone, we are back. The reason we haven't posted in a minute is because I was in Florida for a while, but I am back now. We have all these excuses, but you know what? They don't matter anymore because we're here in front of this camera, ready to pucker our buttholes and get it done. Okay, so we're gonna be playing a game called Agree or Disagree. The rules are pretty simple. I'm gonna like say a question or a topic and we're gonna say either Agree or disagree? Pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory, <laughs> and I just got out of the shower, didn't know we were filming, but JC said we're filming, and so now I'm here. So, let's begin, all right? By the way, our skincare comes out really, really soon. It's been about two and a half years in the making. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things have gone wrong. There's been a lot of obstacles that we've had to go over, but anyways, it'll be linked in the description down below. I kind of want to give it like a unique voice, all right? So here we go. Okay. Relationships on social media are fake. How was that? Was that good? <laughs> really good. Or, oh, is that going to be hard no, to take do you it serious? No, do it in a British voice. Relationships Relationships on social media are fake. Relationships on social media are fake. I That's sound like fucking. So I, I, I found like Stitch. Do you, from know, how, do you Stitch. know how to do a British accent? No, JC, they didn't teach hello, me. That. Hello, hello. <laughs> I don't either. Dumbass. Relationships on social media are fake. All right. Um, I'm gonna say strongly I'm gonna disagree. Go, I'm gonna go a little bit higher than strongly disagree. Why? Because I'm not saying that the actual relationship is fake, but there's a lot of like. Faking it for the camera. Not necessarily us, but I feel like you just kind of have to do yeah, that. Yeah, not us. Not us, guys. <laughs> we don't do that. Not faking it for the camera. That was a, that was the wrong phrase Absolutely to use. every single couple on the internet has to fake shit. That's yeah. just how it is. You have like, to, like, you're putting yourself out on a camera. You're not going to want to show everything. Like, yeah. That's just... That's bound to happen. I think that you can still like be together, enjoy each other, love each other, yeah. and still film stuff. You just have to have like a... Parts of your life that you really keep private. And well, I, that's just like your responsibility. Yeah. If you're doing... YouTube with a, another person that is inherently a relationship mm -hmm. Until you guys break up and they you know and they, everything goes to shit and you're like a demon <laughs> It's okay to look through your partner's phone. That was like a black cowboy. How was that? Do a country accent. I want to hear you with a country accent. Go. No. Do it. I can't do these accents. I all I have is yeah, dork, wait. dickhead, and sarcasm. That's my only accents. It's okay to look through your partner's phone. How was that? What was a country accent. No, that was not a country accent. It was a cowboy on no. the toilet trying to hold in the shit. It's okay to look through your partner's phone. I'm gonna say strongly disagree and for good reason, but we're gonna let JC explain herself okay. first. I'm gonna do like a little bit higher than strongly disagree. Why? Because I feel like I should be able to look through your phone. Like if I go up to you and I'm like, hey, can I like go through your DMs? Like you would let me. So that would be ugly. No. Yes. But like, I'm not like just like picking up your phone and being like, I need to check his DMs to make sure he's not cheating on me. You are a walking contradiction during this video, okay? <laughs> what you just said told me that you strongly agree. I don't strongly All right, agree. Alright, we're gonna do JC, I've gotta do both jobs here. JC meant strongly no, agree. The reason I said strongly disagree has nothing to do with that. The reason I say strongly disagree is because guys have group chats with other guys. How do I want to put this? Girls live in a blissful ignorance when it comes to male humor, and it's best that you just don't get it. Especially with Instagram reels today, any guy watching this understands that if you go into the guy's group chat on Instagram, you're going to see a whole bunch of anarchy, people getting ran over, people blowing up, uh, like very racy, like, you know, kind of stuff. And it's, to some people it might not be funny, but to me it's fucking hilarious. I'm nervous about the other's parenting skills. Alright, that's a homeschooled person that was dropped that on their head. That was the worst twice one I've ever seen. a toddler. Three. Two, one. Strongly agree. Oh my god. Because I know for a fact that if JC, like I'm just saying hypothetically, if JC were the one to raise the kid without me in the picture or like really any guy in the picture, hopefully me, okay, I hope that's your preference, but if it was just JC that raised particularly a son, he would end up a total pussy ass bitch. I am kind of really highly offended. I think you should change it to disagree because I need now, I need you. The woman has spoken. Now I need you to talk about all the good things I'd be as a JC is the most patient per I'm not even joking. This is not, this is to be taken serious. JC is the most patient, loving, go with the flow, but like still able to take things serious when it's necessary type of person I have mm -hmm. ever known. Mm -hmm. All right, gang, gang, boom. <laughs> I consider cheating. That was a, oh that was a person God. that hasn't gone outside in five years, but is constantly in my that comment section like telling me how I need to grow up. That's what that sounds like, alright? I've considered cheating. Strongly disagree. I have never done this, nor have I ever thought about it. I have considered what it would be like to be single. You know, we all like to like romanticize certain ideas, but I have the conscientiousness required to say, hey, although that sounds exciting right now, and I'd love to live a GTA lifestyle for 15 minutes, 
not worth destroying the relationship that brings me more happiness than anything else in this world. I played GTA, I went to the strip club, I admit, but- You've never been to a strip club. No, the strip club in GTA, <laughs> dumbass. Idiot. I mean, strongly disagree. It's pretty, pretty black and white. How could Don't you possibly cheat. cheat on me? Shut up. Think about all the Don't things you'd be cheat. missing out on. My TV, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna do this one normally after I burp. Ooh, threw up a little bit. Daisy starts most of the arguments. Strongly agree. Okay, Actually, that no, was I'll too do, hasty. That was I'll do too agree. hasty. You, okay, I'll, I'll explain the, the scenario. I'll, I'll give you the rundown. So what okay. happens is I'll wake up or I'll just be in my own head or just, just nothing's going on in my head. I'll be walking around. I have a very monotone resting bitch face when I'm just very like lax. It's, it's not bad. bad. He has the worst resting bitch face ever. Daisy will be like, how was your day? I'll be like, it was fine. And she'll be like, oh, what does that mean? What's with the attitude? Blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, what attitude? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, the attitude you just gave me. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know I got blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, it turns into this like weird argument about nothing. I will say though, I always apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry for overreacting. Like, I'm just really sensitive and needy and I'm a really emotional no, I person. No, I we are not like, we do not fight. And when no. we do fight, we've had two or three major fights yeah, in our three. whole relationship. We average like one big fight a year where we're yeah. like actually yelling at each other and actually upset. Mm -hmm. But then we're over it. We get over it really night, quick. Every single time. Yeah. So like, I think that's like, that's, that's rare. That's like a big deal. I've considered breaking up. Is that Dory? Oh, this is Dory, oh whale. I'm speaking whale. I've considered breaking up. Okay, um, I'm gonna say strongly disagree, but sometimes I have my moments where the testosterone is flowing and I'm just like, man, I could conquer the world. Oh I don't need no woman. Oh my god, he's totally joking. Other than that, say JK, JK right now. JK, JK. Oh but my gosh. other than that, no, never. It's never lasted more than five minutes. Five Kidding. minutes is too long. Maybe like two seconds. And then you you look at me and you're like, oh my god, she's the most beautiful, amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. And then exactly. you and then you come to your senses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay to have friends of the opposite gender? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna upset people again. Strongly disagree. I'm gonna put, actually, I'm going a little bit higher. I'm gonna go disagree. I'm saying strongly disagree. And I'm, let me explain myself here, because I'm not talking about the friend that you know of from high school, or that friend that you studied with, or that friend, whatever. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you see a person whose core friend group, the people that they associate with most, are majoritively the opposite sex. I think everyone can agree that usually that is a red yeah. flag. Obviously, it's okay to have friends that are opposite genders, right. but if your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your significant other has a best friend that's the opposite gender and they hang out by themselves and they do things on their own, like they'll go to dinner or lunch, I just think that is so you have to also, inappropriate. You have well guys, that's all the questions we had. Hopefully that was therapeutic for you. It was kind of therapeutic for me. I didn't know some of those things that you said. Like Thank I've been you. to the strip club? Yeah. But, alright, that's about all that I have to say. I'm going through all the questions one more time. I think we answered them pretty well. I, I think too. we were rational. I think we I were logical. Too. I think we were honest. I do too. Um, we might not have agreed on some of the same things, but that's what makes a relationship a relationship. You don't agree on some things, and you work those out, and... We agree to disagree, and I sound so basic and boring yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, peace out. Bye.